I'm here with Ivan Navarro, a Chilean artist who's been resident in New York for the last decade and a half. I'm at the Paul Kasman booth. Ivan, I just wanted you to tell us a little bit about this extraordinary uh, body of new work that you've been working on. I'm investigating like a new ideas more related to uh, language and sound specifically this one and how language represent can represent sound not necessarily creating sound and uh, with uh, material that I've used before like the play of mirrors which are also a representation of a space so it's the, the whole project is, is, is basically based in, in the idea of representation and the idea of illusion I'm here with Sean Kelly at Sean Kelly Gallery at Art Basel, Miami Beach, 212. Sean, perhaps you could tell us about this terrific sculpture at the corner of your booth that's attracting a great deal of attention. It's a, it's a brand new work by Los Carpenteros, the uh, Cuban duo, um, and they they wanted to make work with Lego for uh, many, many years. They were in contact with the people who manufacture Lego. This, this sculpture is based upon monuments that the communists built in all the countries they, com they sort of colonized. Uh -huh. So they're called Spamelinks. And um, so there is very large structures that talked about communist supremacy in the future. They were very visionary sculptures in their terms. And they're dotted all over the countries that the communists had invaded. Um, so obviously it has a very particular resonance for the Cubans who had a very strong relationship to, to, to the Russians. I'm here with Michelle Yuan, the curator of modern and contemporary art at the Asian Society Museum in New York at the Robert Miller booth at Art Basel, Miami Beach 2012. We asked Michelle to choose from the fair one installation that she thought was significant and she chose this work by Yayoi Kusama. Michelle, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about this installation and why you chose it. This is actually a recreation of a seminal piece by Kusama from 1996, also entitled Narcissus Garden, um, which she uh, had included surreptitiously uh, as part of the 33rd Venice Biennale. Um, she wasn't formally invited to participate in that Biennale, um, but she uh, brought this installation and uh, uh, kind of conceived a performative piece and sold each of the mirrored balls for two dollars, and so it became this kind of guerrilla act, I suppose, on the art establishment. Mm -hmm. 